Ezekiel 23. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, there were two women, the daughters of one mother. And they committed whoredoms. God spells it out in Egypt. Isn't it a fact that God links whoredoms with Egypt? Nothing's ever spoken about Egypt, and Egypt is a type of the world. They committed whoredoms in their youth. And they were there were their breasts pressed. God is so plain. And there they bruised their teats, that's the nipples, of their virginity. Teats would be where the milk is drawn. What is supposed to be healthy for a, a, a child has become a whoredom in, to Egypt. And the names, and there are people who say, oh, you know, you're not supposed to name names. The Bible names names. The names of them were Aholia, the elder, and Aholiba, her sister. You know, I heard in the modern Bible being read today that not this passage, but another familiar passage in the Bible. I heard that even the names were changed. That's ridiculous. And they were mine, God speaking. And they bear sons and daughters. Thus were their names, Samaria is Aholia, that's Israel North, and that means she has her own tent, a dwelling. And Jerusalem, Aholiba, which means my tent, is in her, Jerusalem. God dwells in Jerusalem. They are his. But that doesn't prevent them from sinning against God by going to Egypt. You got the notion, church, and Christians. As the church gets ready to celebrate the Egyptian, Babylonian, Nimrod, Greek, Roman, Catholic, a whoredom with Tammuz in the name of Christmas. Which came to be in the 1300s, meaning Christ Mass. Mass. And Christians back, oh, you know, we can't be bashing other religions and all. Let's not pick on the cat. Okay, let's not. Okay. Well, here's the truth in Ezekiel 23. Well, uh, I don't like the Old Testament. And Holy had played the harlot, that's Samaria, Israel, when she was mine. She doted means love, extreme love, for her lovers, plural, on the Assyrians, her neighbors. The Syrians, which were clothed with blue, royalty, expensive captains and rulers, all of them desirable young men, horsemen riding on horses. So th this, is, this is what be the, the reason why you hear all these love stories, and he comes on a horse, and he's riding in a horse, and they ride off in, in, into the horse. <laughs> Thus she committed whoredoms with them, Syrian, Samaria, and all them that were chosen men of Assyria, with all on whom she doted, with all their idols. Here is Samaria, God's people, 
And they brought the idols of the Assyrians into Samaria. Friend, that's happened with the church today. The church has brought in the worldly idols. Defiled herself. And the church is defiled. That's why Jesus Christ is standing outside the church door. Because inside is vile. Inside is whoredom. Inside they're committed for a hard harlotry. Oh, we're not involved in, in, in the Catholic Church and all that. Okay, we're involved in harlotry, but Mystery Babylon, that great harlot. You see, the devil is so slick that he's brought into Samaria, he's brought into the idols of the nation, he's brought them to Egypt, which the law said they're not to be. And Jeremiah and Ezekiel tell us that they got all these altars and high places and all these queen of heaven. They got that all. And we think we're doing just fine. And God is using Jeremiah and Ezekiel saying, you're doing wrong. You need to repent. And they're not. And you get an idiot walks into a church and says, hey, listen, this is what Christmas means. It ought not to be a word amongst the Christians. And they look. Well, we all not bad bash the Catholics. Okay, Judah. Okay, Israel. The word of God has been spoken and you're not listening. Okay? All I can do is just tell you the truth. What you do with it between you and God. Notice the word idol. Neither left she her whoredoms brought from Egypt. So she has committed whoredoms of idolatry and, and with, these, with the Assyrian, Assyrians. And she's kept the Egyptian ways. What do we know about Samaria? They had the golden calves. One in Dan and one in Bathsheba. They had imitation feast days that were imitation of God's feast days. And they had Jezebel. You read about Jezebel in the book of Revelation. And the gods that are in the church today have been kept from Babylon. They've been kept from Egypt. They've been kept from Assyria. They've been And Paul says, come out. You can't have Belial with, with, with gods and with God. You can't mix with Jesus and the devil. You can't expect God to bless you when you are doing wrong. And you say, well, we're blessed. We're doing great. We're wonderful. How wonderful, great we are. How, uh, does that sound familiar? And God's answer is, you're, Richard, you're wretched, you're miserable, you're poor. You see, the Old Testament brings it to the very to the New Testament. For in her youth she laid with her, and bruised the breast of her virginity, and poured their whoredoms upon her. Wherefore have they delivered her into the hand of her lovers, into the hand of the Syrians, upon whom she doted? So, Israel north goes into captivity with the ones that she loved, the Syrians. And at this point in time, Israel's gone. These discovered her nakedness. They took her sons and her daughters. And these cities and towns. Slew her with the sword. She became famous among women. Even Jesus speaks about the good Samaritan. The woman of Samaria. For they were executed. For they had executed judgment upon her. 
the Assyrians, their lovers, came in. All right, this is your judgment. And carried them away. And when she saw her sister of Holiba, that's Jerusalem, saw this. Jerusalem saw what happened to Israel. She was more corrupt in her inordinate love than she. Inordinate is out of the ordinary. Well, this, doesn't Paul write several times in section of love? Doesn't Paul write that, that there's a love that, that this is beyond ordinary in the Pauline epistles? Men shall be lovers of themselves. Men will fall to love with men with men, working that which is unseemly. Women will, 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 will kill the fruit of their, of their babies. A man will give up his family for a business, for a car, for a boat. And in her whoredoms, more than the, her sister in her whoredom. So Jerusalem has become worse than Israel North. And Jerusalem said, like, nothing's going to happen to me. That's the attitude that's improper. That ain't going to happen to me. It's, it's the sure mercies of God, the long-suffering God. She doted upon the Assyrians, her neighbors, captains and rulers, clothed them gorgeously, horsed and right upon horses, all of them des desirable young men. Just like her sister. Then I saw that she was defiled. That they took both one way. That she increased her whoredom. When she saw men portrayed upon the wall. Remember that with Jeremiah? Remember Jeremiah dig through the wall. and They got the movie house. They got the art gallery. Come watch this Christian movie at our church. The images of Chaldeans portrayed with Berlinium. That's a red. They were painting on the walls. I don't know if you would call it graffiti, but there it is. Mural. How many churches do you know they have a mural on the wall? Girded, girded with girdles upon their loins. There's men wearing girdles. Shall not wear what pertains to a woman, the woman shall never pertain to a man. Exceedingly dyed attire upon their heads. You mean tie dye band bandanas? Head dressings that have all different kinds of colors? All of them. Princes to look to after the manner of the Babylonians of Chaldea. Okay, here's Jerusalem. The land of their nativity. As soon as she saw with her with her eyes, she doted upon them and sent messengers unto them in Chaldea. And the Babylonians came to her in a bed of love and defiled her with whoredoms. And she was polluted with them. And her mind was alienated from them. So she discovered her whoredoms. And discovered her nakedness. Then her mind was all alienated from her. Like as the mind of an alienated from her sin. Her mind's just been blown away. She's left God. She's in the Babylonian ways. And she'll end up in Babylon. Did she multiply her whoredoms? It got worse. Jeremiah tells us. Ezekiel tells us. And call into remembrance the days of her youth. Wherein she played the harlot in the land of Egypt. For she doted upon her polymers. That's lovers. People she cared for. 
whose flesh is the flesh of asses, I'm going to leave that alone, whose issue is like the issue of horses, I'm leaving that alone. It's a sexual reference. Thus thou callest to remembrance the lewdness of thy youth and bruising thy teeth, just like her sister, by the Egyptians for the paps of their youth. We're going to stop right there.